हेलो हेलो माय नेम इज़ अनिरुद्ध आई वेलकम यू टू अनदर क्विक अर्बन स्केचिंग डेमो इट्स करेंटली द मॉनसून सीजन यूर इन इंडिया दैट्स व्हाई आई हैव टेकन कीन इंटरेस्ट इन डिपिक्टिंग अ मॉनसून स्केच मॉनसून सीन फॉर टू डेज डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन The drawing part of this scene is a fairly simple one point perspective. However, this is anything but an easy scene. An overcast day usually has diffuse light, so there are no strong defined shadows. Hence it takes a little more effort, a little more thought into building volume for each of the elements within your scene. as i often do i have started my watercolor work with the lighter values i started by putting down a bluish gray color for the sky and then a warm raw sienna color for the horizon in the foreground i put down some cooler neutral color um, to kind of depict the reflection of the sky on the foreground railway tracks that bit being darker then the background hopefully will lend the scene some sense of depth and then lastly i wet down the platform area and uh, started putting down some uh, more raw sienna that will make sense as we progress with my paper still being relatively damp i am now tackling the vegetation in the very far background i need to use more than one green for the trees in the very back need to be cooler and duller and as it is the monsoon there are a lot of fresh bright greens that have just sprouted up they need to be more lively and more warm as the paper is damp it's also a good chance to pull out some tree trunks using my fingernail just like we did for the ground plane i want the vegetation closer to the viewer to be a little bit darker to build a sense of depth Apart from the limited palette you see on the right of my sketchbook I'm also using a tube of white gouache. That's what I used to put in that uh, white pole in the background. I'm going to put down the train tracks now. Doing this freehand there's very little chance of these lines being perfectly straight. Also it's almost impossible to get the exact number of uh, those track plinths as i pay paint in those uh, diagonal marks best practice is getting the feel of them right keeping the brush strokes lively as opposed to making sure they're all straight and exacting in number if any alterations are needed we can always do it with our pen For the black pen work I am going to use a 1.0 tip Uniball gel pen. The reason I choose this is because it works very well on a damp paper and it being a very humid day 
my page is going to take a little while to dry. I'm going to try and be gestural and playful with my strokes. I try to reinforce the form I created with my pencil work initially, but I don't intend to go over every single line. I am again going to wet down the platform those three figures are working on. Then I am going to add more strength to the reflection of those pillars to the right. Following that, I am going to do the most important part of this painting. The reflection of those three figures on the platform. This reflection I am going to make a little bit stronger than what I can see in the reference. The reflection makes the ground appear glossy. In this instance, the platform isn't wet. However, glossiness can often be used to indicate the wetness of the ground surface. Now I'm slowly going to bring the figures to a finish and if possible connect them to their reflections. This is one of those scenes that doesn't have one large connecting shape of mid-tone value. If I feel any of the figures lack a little bit of charm, I will come back in with one of my gel pens and add some patterns to their clothing. This girl on the right is the best opportunity to let all the colors flow into one another and then give it a little bit of volume by lifting paints in certain parts and then adding a little broad depth in others. If you've made it so far into the video and are enjoying what you're seeing, I would kindly request you to consider giving this video a like and subscribing to my channel. I now have close to 50 of these videos up and I'm planning a lot more exciting things in the coming months. So please, please, please do stay connected. I also have a presence on Instagram and Skillshare. I'm using my white jelly roll gel pen this time. Next, I turn my attention to the roof and the pillars on the right. These are both a part of one large shape for me including the yellow pits.
there is a variation of value from the top of the pillars to the middle section the top is a little bit darker and i have failed to observe and interpret that correctly so i'm trying to lift some of the paint from the lower end and then add some further strength to the top and watch it flow down I'd have liked the lower edge on that neutral grey of the pillar to still be a little bit wet. In that way, I would have got a smooth transition from that grey to yellow. Alas, I took a little too long mixing the proper yellow. But now that I have the yellow down on the paper, I am going to add a little bit of depth and variety to that shape. these vertical strokes will emphasize both volume and geometry of those pillars the plan was to use white gouache to bring back some of the highlights on those pillars not entirely sure whether it is working out using the premixed dark neutral in my palette for the base of those pillars although they are mostly that dark black color it always helps to have a tiny bit of variation in them as a finishing touch i am going to use my white gouache and some of my opaque cadmium red to put in some of the railroad infrastructure and signs in the background this scene is done i hope you enjoyed watching it i thank you for joining me here today and look forward to seeing you in the next one as well if you enjoyed this one i'm sure you'll also enjoy the suggestions that will right now pop up to the right hand side of your screen